Uh, not as productive as I had hoped. But I'm going to look over there on the footpath on that other side. Look, 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 look. A tiny silver, uh, young head Queen Victoria silver threepenny bit. I am chuffed to death. Ha 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 ha. In that field over there I found a sovereign and a, and a two shilling. But this path must have been done by a hundred metal detectives. And you missed it. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you. Ah, 1982. 20p modern. <laughs> ah, another modern penny. 2000. Look at that, a musket ball within, within about two feet of that modern penny. Okay, a bit of the scenery. This is the footpath to Malham. This is Air Spring, where the water comes out uh, for the river Air Head, I think they call it. It's where the water comes out for the river Air. Over on the other side of the valley there, we have um, the Pennine Way. There's people walking the Pennine Way. And across this way we have one contented cow. <laughs> and if I can put my camera on this wall and get it steady, I should be able to zoom in on Malham Cove, which is the... There we go. 300 foot high cliff face there. In the old days, the Ice Age, the, the the ice and water's come hurtling over there and carved out that great gorge. It's all gone now, of course. And this next little depression right in front of me is another place where the water comes out of. I've done it before, but I'll have another go at detecting it. So the, the river air um, comes out of the Malham Town, which is way up on the top of those hills there, sinks into the ground, and then comes out again here. The beautiful spring. I would have thought there would have been a lot of magic with this spring, um, votive offerings and what have you, so I will have another look at it. Well, I was expecting more than a modern penny. Carry on. There's a, an old enclosure there, look, a little wall coming around to that stone there and then that stone there. About 30 foot by 20 foot. Uh, not sure what it is. Uh, they're pretty hopeless for metal detecting because they're, they're neolithic uh, and the only thing you're going to find is flints and <laughs> my detector don't get flints. Hey hey, another penny. Ah, oh, good. I wanted to do that little bit of land where that cow was lying down and he's moving, she's moving. <laughs> A bone handled pen knife. Yeah, it's not stainless steel like the last one I found. I mean, this is well and truly gone. The bone is surviving though, so that's old. Yeah, Cooper Nickel sixpence, Elizabeth second. I've been having a think. That that's where I found the three, uh, the threepenny bit silver, and it's in this area just here where I found the uh, half sovereign and the two florin, which is why I'm spending a bit of time here. <laughs> I thought for the moment I'd found another penny, modern penny, but if I can get this right, you can see there's a little bird on there, a little wren. It's a 1945 George VI uh, farming. Good one. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine coins, it's time to break for lunch. Uh, my usual <laughs> mayonnaise and um, some kind of meat <laughs> and oh it's eatable but my celery yeah uh, celery is good because it's nice and refreshing and my uh, bottle of happy juice down there as I sit here in the field look um, what could be better beautiful sunny day and I'm sat down in scenery like this and I'm going to eat my lunch, so we'll see you later. Uh, 1965 sixpence, cupronickel. I think I'm finding all these at sixpences here because 
when they came tramping over here with the metal detector club everybody were on full discrimination they were only looking for silver and big copper coins in those days love these little clumps oh that's easy that's a thick looking coin what are you then oh you're a pound coin oh, oh well you'll go in a machine <laughs> Okay, so I get a pound coin on that side of the path and then I get a pound coin again on this side of the path. There's no reason, is there? So, two feet away from where I found that pound coin. Ta-da! George the Third, 1805. Ho oh, ho ho! You little beauty. Nearly blew my head off with the signal I wasn't going to bother. <laughs> oh, and this path has been done. Oh, can't believe it. Uh, another little 5p. <laughs> I'm going to call this field the coin field. What are you? Oh, it's one of these South uh, American things. Um, alpaca, is it? Somebody will put me right. There's three of them. Yeah, that's it. A llama. Whoops. <laughs> I shan't go too near. These things tend to spit at you. Well, my battery went flat. So I'll just add these to it. I found uh, an artifact on the path, which uh, I clean up when we do the photograph at the end. And uh, a, a decent piece of bronze, whatever that is. And also, um, path being done, I came back to the mill, very disappointed with the mill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this path out onto the field that goes across to uh, Kirby Mallon. This path, there'll be nothing here, but in the field, possibly. Possibly. Oh,